Hello guys, here I've come up with a very useful video that is target 320 plus which is guaranteed in the NEET biology examination. Yes guys, you heard me right. So I have come up with a beautiful strategy and of course the most easiest strategy ever to score 320 plus marks in the NEET. Of course, if you put some more efforts, you can also go beyond 320 or 340 plus. But 320 is 100%, 320 plus guys. So of course, uh, not very difficult also. So these are very uh, simple tips. And it's a very, very simple strategy which you have to follow to score 320 plus marks in NEET Biology. So you already know by this that um, physics has got 180 marks, chemistry has got 180 marks and then uh, biology together it has got 180 plus 180 that is 360 marks. So 360 marks means it has almost got 50% weightage in the NEET which simply suggests you that you have to really work out hard in the biology. If you score well in the biology and especially guys, if the biology is your strength, then trust me, you'll just excel in the examination. Of course, physics and chemistry are also equally important because if you score well in biology and if you don't score well in physics and chemistry, your exam is, it's like waste, isn't it? So, the, all the subjects are equally important since there are more marks given to the biology you will have to be a bit cautious about the biology so 320 plus will definitely help you like anything guys so without wasting any time we'll just begin with the strategy now 20 percent then reproduction it is 9 percent genetics and evolution 18 percent biotechnology and its applications it's 3%, then biology and human welfare, 4%, ecology and environment is 12%. So, you can see which chapters have got more weightage. Here is a chapter that is human physiology and the next one is genetics and evolution. And after that, diversity in living world, this is, is one chapter which have got more weightage. Again, ecology and environment. So, what my suggestion is, you should always see which units have got more weightage or which chapters have got more weightage and you should plan your strategy according to it. So, how to plan it that we will see in the next slides. So, this is the weightage of the units. So, let's see the chapter wise weightage now. Okay, here we have the living world which has got one question. Guys, uh, this is a list which I have taken from pre, uh, previous two to three examinations. So this is the current trend which has been followed by the NEET. So uh, anyways, this particular list, you will find it in any XYZ website. So I don't want to stress much about the list. So I just want to stress out the sub uh, so chapters which have got more questions. So here is one chapter, cell cycle and cell division. And then next we have plant kingdom and then the animal kingdom and then we have some more topics here again photosynthesis in higher plants and then next one here we have locomotion and movement so uh, unit wise it is fixed but however within the unit what chapters are there so number of questions keeps on varying so but anyways this is an average number of questions which can be asked from that particular chapter and then we have one more uh, slide here for this sexual reproduction in flowering plants three human reproduction reproductive health and then we have one more important chapter here molecular basis of inheritance guys see eight to ten questions are being asked then biotechnology principles and processes five questions biotechnology and its application four questions okay organisms and populations again four questions so what you have to do is you should first see which chapters have got more weightage or from which chapters more number of questions are being asked and you should always start from such chapters or otherwise this is one idea or otherwise you should always see which are your strength chapters and those strength chapters make a list of the strength chapters which you feel easier 
and see how many marks are been allotted for that particular chapter whichever has got highest marks start with that chapter and guys your preparation should be in such a way that once if you prepare that topic it should be like you should hit the question in such a way that you should get a 100% marks from that okay how to prepare in such a way that we will see from the next slide So here is the next slide which is giving us the information about the reference material what you are supposed to refer if you are if you want to score 320 plus then what you are supposed to refer so here is our first material our very own ncrt class 11 and class 12 guys so class 11 and class 12 ncrt trust me guys you might have referring you might be referring n number of books n number of materials but take my words ncrt is the best material go for any material no problem at all but first be perfect with the ncrt class 11 and class 12 textbooks if you are well versed with class 11 and class 12 then you can pick up any other material there's no issues with that but before getting the perfection or before getting well versed with class 11 and class 12 NCRTs if you study other materials it's of no use guys this is definitely this is definitely a stray mark because if you don't refer or if you if you're not good with the NCRTs then it is waste to refer any material so guys trust me if you want to be perfect with the topics or with the if you want to really score well in the neat examination then study ncrt in such a way that you should be so perfect with it revise revise and just revise that's it okay how many times it is possible that many times you have to read the ncrt class 11 and class 12 again with the ncrt class 11 class 12 textbooks many students will neglect ncrt examplars and ncrt lab manuals which are very very important guys see if not if not like ncrt class 11 and class 12 like if you are revising class 11 and class 12 class 12 textbooks for some uh, three to four times then at least for one or two times you are supposed to revise the examplars and lab manual don't take it easy guys lab manual is equally important at least once okay once when you are nearing to the examination thoroughly study the lab manual that is NCRT lab manual you might have different lab manuals from different different sources you can refer that but NCRT is the best lab manual okay many a times questions when you see it you feel that this is out of syllabus no it is not out of syllabus if you find the ncrt lab manual many a times you will be having that information in the lab manual so guys if you want to score that extra marks then you should work out on the lab manuals and the exam plus okay it's must and should then Next material which you have to refer is 5 to 6 years old question papers. 5 to 6 year old question papers that is because you should be having an idea how exactly the questions are being asked nowadays. Okay, So if you, if you should have that idea then it is must and should that you should refer the old question papers. And I feel 5 to 6 years old question papers are much than more than enough. Okay then neat model question papers again very important guys see what happens every year neat will release some model question papers two to two or more model question papers will be released in the neat website itself so my suggestion guys do refer do solve these neat model question papers take again five to six years old model question papers and solve them Trust me guys, you can really see good number of questions or at least many questions can be hinted out of the neat model question papers. Okay, and not only one year, you should at least refer five to six years old neat model question papers. Then after all these, after you have solved all these sources, then you can go for the question banks from any sources. Okay, whichever is comfortable 
so that particular question bank you can choose and then chapter wise you can solve the questions you will have a good practice on that but before completing these if you go to the question banks from different sources it is totally waste guys okay so these are the reference materials which you have to look for then apart from all these there is one more material which really really wo works like anything i trust me guys you will mark my words you will remember me after the exam if you do it that is your own notes nothing will help you like your, like your own notes okay read ncert prepare your own notes Pre you should not prepare it in such a way that it it completes a book or something like that it should be very very easy like for example if if you have taken a chapter so let's imagine we are speaking about some transport in plants okay transport in plants now you should make the notes in such a way that just one a4 sheet size okay one a4 uh, size sheet should be taken and write down every important point in such a way that if you take that one or two a4 size sheets that should that should cover the complete chapter so that before going to exam you should be just revising that particular sheet because revising complete textbook before the exam is not possible a day before the exam you should have all your own notes own sheets in such a way just one two or marks to marks three if you, if the chapter is quite huge then you should have maximum three to four sheets that's it that should cover the complete chapter in such a way you should make your own notes and just a day before the exam revise everything then you then you're done isn't it the most easiest way actually and the most helpful way also guys trust me it is to prepare your own notes and revise your own notes a day before the exam anyways i'll give you one more strategy when the exams are nearing what you should do a week before the exam a, be, a week be before the exam how exactly you are supposed to prepare so that strategy i'll give it when you are nearing to the examination guys so these are the reference materials then what is the strategy here comes the important point now strategy start with your strength units and chapters strength units and chapters okay what are these strength units and chapters see guys everyone everyone will be good at one or the other chapters for example my strength is molecular biology genetics chapters so i am so good at those topics in that like any question i can crack it that's my confidence so everyone every student will be having such strength units and strength chapters guys go ahead with that always start your preparation with such chapters because that will boost your confidence level if you start with those chapters by the time you you end up with those those chapters you will have a proper grip on how to have your preparation and how to make your notes so that is the reason you have to always start with the strength chapters and prepare in such a way that you should hit the question you should always hit the question 100% okay your preparation should never be incomplete take your own time it doesn't matter see out of for example let's imagine you have 10 chapters to be to to prepare if you prepare all the 10 chapters that's fine if you're not able to prepare the 10 chapters see whichever chapters have got more weighted Ch prepare those chapters see rather than preparing uh, incompletely for all the chapters it is best to leave one or two chapters and prepare 100% for the other chapters then again make your own notes own notes guys why i'm stressing own notes is see what happens when you revise your own notes and when you get the questions out of those chapters even though you don't know the answer many a times you will be feeling that somewhere i have come across this word and this particular option is related to this word or this concept because since you have made your own notes and revised it several times that will be going on your mind that this particular concept is related to this word and many a times those instincts will work out so well that is the reason guys if not you are so sure about the answer at least your instinct will make you answer it perfectly oh but this works out only when you have when you have your own notes 
or at least while studying the ncert mark everything mark and then copy it down so that will really help you out guys trust me take my words trust me that will really help you to score well then revise the ncert as many times as possible this is the key to the success it's like key to success that's it no other no other mantras actually frankly speaking revise ncert as many times as possible four times good five times too good six times too 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 good it's like that okay so revise as many times as possible and try to solve the examples sign lab manuals don't forget the exam examples sign lab manual because they are really really important guys 320 plus isn't it so if 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 you have to get the plus marks then you should definitely go for the examples and the lab manuals then at least solve one question paper in a week with proper timings very very important guys this is again second key to success what happens many a times students might have prepared really well but they fail to answer it in the examination because of because of that exam pressure and time management they fail to manage the time there that you should really uh, practice very well managing time is equally important and handling the exam pressure when you sit there in the examination it is not easy to handle that pressure so you should be solving the question papers take the old question paper or neat model question papers can be taken take those question papers from the uh, neat and solve them keeping the time just think that you are in the neat examination and keep proper time and solve the question paper so what happens from this is you will be able to handle that pressure and you will be able to manage time when you practice it here uh, when you self practice it when you go to the examination you feel it quite easier and that will relax you much more and being relaxed will fetch you extra marks guys that is for sure okay being relaxed will really really fetch you extra marks not only in the neat any exam being relaxed will really fetch you extra marks and if you have to be relaxed then you should have a proper practice that's it okay so these are few uh, tips or this is a strategy which you have to follow guys trust me this will really work out okay because i have already tried it out with many students and it has really really worked out so that is why i thought of making this video so that many other students will also be benefited again i'm repeating it start with your strength chapters and units make your own notes revise ncert as many times as possible don't forget exam examples and lab manuals ncert examples only okay ncert examples and ncert lab manuals and then at least solve one question paper in a week if not in a week at least two weeks once you can solve a question paper and you should solve a question paper it means that monthly twice at least you should solve the question paper in such a way that you are in the examination if you do this okay if you do this guys trust me scoring 320 plus is really not a difficult task provided you should follow all these steps without fail and of course what should be done a week before the examination or just 10 days before the examination that i'll make a separate video and guys that is also really very very important okay so by this i hope uh, you will follow these strat this strategy and you will come out with the flying colors guys thank you